Electrica 2025. I think I've finally learned how to spell it now, but I'm not really sure. This is number two. It's a good show. It's about electric narrowboats. Everything electric narrowboat. Nothing else. We're going to be talking about electric narrowboat builders, electric propulsion, and other important stuff. And we're going to be starting off with number one on my list, Aqua Narrowboats. Aqua Narrowboats, this is Justin and Jane's company. They do both boat hire and bespoke boat build. And they have Auto Marine doing their systems for them with their electric boats. And they have us doing electric beds with our drawbridge beds. They have a wonderful manufacturing facility, really, really excellent. I'm very, very envious of it, and it really does show in the quality of their boats. They have a boat called Thistledown at the show. Number two, Bath Canal Craft. If you like wood, speak to Rui. Rui Colchester is the owner of this company. He has an interesting business model in that he doesn't charge VAT. That's a big saving. So, if you like slightly quirky boats in wood with possibly one of our motors, because he likes those too, speak to Rui. Now, because there is only one of him, come and see him quickly, because he's got a little bit of a waiting list. Dave and his team have a really nice business. They produce all sorts of boats, wide beams, narrow boats, Dutch barges, Thames launches, all sorts of things and you're really in safe hands with him because he's been going for over 20 years. They have a boat there called True Blue. It's a lovely boat. You should have a look at that one too. Elton Moss. Now this is Artie's company. He's been around since 2003. So another well-established boat builder. He's built quite a few over the years. Now his company is a UK-based company, but he actually builds the boats in the Czech Republic to a very high standard. Now, interestingly, Artie is taking on the building of the Narrow Boat Life Unlocked guys, the building of their new boat. This is boat number three, I believe. Um, and Auto Marine are doing the systems for it. So that's going to be an interesting one to watch. They have a boat at the show called Walkabout. Finesse, this is Ricky's company. Ricky has the good fortune of being the son-in-law of legend Jonathan Wilson. They've written songs about Jonathan in Eastern Europe. Marvellous. Anyway, Ricky is building a boat called Mouse. It's probably the biggest boat there, so it's rather um, ironically named, but it's a beautiful thing. I've seen it, I've seen it in build. Go and have a look at it. I think you'll be impressed. Auto Marine. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. That's Rob and Caroline. They've been doing electric boats for a good while now and they've developed a foolproof system. They have a very loyal following. And that's really all you need to know. But because of their experience and their expertise, they're now offering that to other boat builders. So please go and have a look at their boat, Jenny Wren, and I'm sure you'll be impressed. Ovation Boats. This is a company started back in 2005 by Chris Williams. He's a surveyor. He entered this year's Crick Beauty Contest with the boat Breaking Bad and came number three. So a very capable outfit. He is bringing the Charnwood 42 Hobbit, I think that's all the right way round, and that has a Lynch motor, a Lynch Marlin. So that's going to be another one that's really worth having a look at. All of these boats are very different from each other. So there are two other builders that won't have boats at the show. There's Clearwater Boats and Floating Ohm. Let's talk about Floating Ohm first. This is a company that's owned by Naomi. I don't know Naomi, but she's been getting a lot of good press and she has an interesting take on what goes on underwater on a boat. And she has a father who is a naval architect and fathers and their relationships with their daughters, they can never say no, and she convinced her father to design a narrowboat hull that is more hydrodynamic underwater. So that's going to be one to see because everything about electrical boats or electric boats 
is about efficiency. Efficiency is key. Clearwater Boats, again, I don't really know these guys, but they have an interesting offering, steel narrowboats and little beaver boats. Now, these are little GRP ones, so if you want to get on the water with a trailable boat that weighs about three tonnes, easy to tow, and you can stick it on the back of your car, or Land Rover, or whatever it is, and drop it in the water, so get to see all sorts of different areas. The boats are driven by an EZ electric outboard. Now they're an outboard from a company called Golden Motors. Mothership Marine, yours truly. Now we have a boat called Sunbeam at the show. Now here's the thing, everybody at the show builds a quality boat. That goes without saying. I've seen most of those boats and they're great. They really are and they've got good systems too. Now, what I would like to say about Mothership Marine is that we build boats that feel like a country cottage inside with a modern takeover. But if I did that, I wouldn't get a good search thingy in Google. Nobody would find me, so I have to say I'm a quality boat builder. Now, boats are like works of art, and boat builders are like artists. And you have to find an artist that you like, or a boat builder that you like. So come down and see which boat talks to you. So this is part two of the presentation, electric propulsion. We're gonna start off with Beta Marine. Beta Marine have been around for years. They're predominantly known for diesel motors, but they've decided that they've got to be in the in crowd and have developed some electric motors. They've got a 14 kilowatt belt drive and a 21 kilowatt belt drive. They're PMAC motors, they're water cooled, and I believe they have the Enduro motors at their heart. E-Propulsion, I guess these guys started out not that long ago as a competitor to Torquedo Motors who make rather noisy little electric outboards. They've been working in China, they're a Chinese company with a big research and development facility on making these motors quieter and more efficient. Now they have an inboard offering and they are a 10 kilowatt air-cooled motor and a 20 kilowatt water-cooled motors. Both of these motors have a reduction drive and they are 96 volts. There are advantages to having this higher voltage. Lightning Craft, this is Josh's company. He started the business a little while ago and it's maturing really nicely. He builds motors for fishing boats, for narrow boats and for sailing boats too. A, a, a wide range of things. And I believe he uses Enduro motors too and has a little thing going with Beta Marine. So definitely one to look out for. The Lynch Motor Company. Trevor, 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 Trevor Lees. What a guy. 30 years in the business. Wonderful thing about this company is they make their own motors in the UK. They've got a whole range and they get involved in a whole bunch of other things as well. So it's not just marine. This is a very good company. At Crick this year, he won the prize, uh, an innovation prize for the motor for the Red Snapper, which is an add-on piece that you can put on a traditional or diesel boat and run an electric motor over it. So it's a way of converting your diesel boat into an electric boat, and I think that is an excellent idea. Vetus. Vetus are a global player. They've been going since 1964. They're Dutch. The Dutch know a thing about water and boats. They have to. It's a matter of survival. They've developed the E-Line, a 10 kilowatt little motor that is used in all sorts of boats, but is also good in narrow boats too. Now, they're going to be bringing along a 20 kilowatt motor to this show, and I'm looking forward to seeing that. No putt-putt. This is not, as Google suggests, an anti mini golf fringe group. This is a serious electric motor and of course gets rid of the putt putt noise of the motor. This is Hugo's business and along with his father they developed something that is really quite technical and I believe it is a serious contender. 
It's a nice tidy unit that comes with its own app as well. So take a look at their stand and have a chat to them. You'll find them nice people. Engines Plus. I don't really know Engines Plus, but I do know Bell Marine. Engines Plus are bringing Bell Marine to the show. Bell Marine is an interesting company. They've been going for a number of years. They've got a very solid product and it started in Holland and they were buying their heart of their motors from a company called Transfluid, which is a very big global company. I think they're based in Italy. But Transfluid said, hey, you guys are doing really well. We want to buy you out and they have done. So what you've got here is a solid electric motor with industry heavyweights around you. So I think you should definitely put this motor on your list. Talkmar. This is company number two at the show for me. A separate entity, completely separate entity to Mothership Marine, but still related to electric boating. I've been in the boating business for about 15 years now, and like Bono, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Three years ago, I met Ian Somerville. I sold him a boat. He is a software engineer and a sailor, and we've got the same hunch in that it's all about talk, not power, and about integration. So together with my son Sam, who's joined the company, he's an engineer with a PhD, and we are developing a system that will integrate the motor, the batteries, the solar, the generator, and the wider electrical systems, be easy to fit and easy to operate. We have a solution at the show and on the Talkmar stand. Come and see us and let us know if you think we found what we were looking for. So we're on to part three of this little presentation. Other stuff I've called it in my notes here. We're going to start off with Aqua Vista. Now Aqua Vista co-founded this show, Electrica, with Auto Marine. So again, well done there, and it's appreciated. Aqua Vista are the largest UK marine operators. They have 29 marinas around the country. What's great about that is that if you moor with them, you can get away days at other marinas if there's space. So that's a very useful thing to, to know and to have and to use if you are on a narrowboat. ABC Leisure Group. It's not a lazy name. It stands for Alva Church Boat Centres. And they have a huge offering from boat building to boat maintenance to marinas to hire boats. And they'll be bringing along an electric narrow boat day boat. It's a bit of a mouthful. But you can go on there and you'll be able to go on there for free, I believe. And you'll get a taste of what it's like travelling along on an electric narrowboat and we hope that you'll be left with a taste for more. Kruger Eberspatcher. It is really important being warm on a narrowboat and as our bones get a little bit older it's nice to be warm first thing in the morning. The wonderful thing about an Eberspatcher is that you can actually program it so it can come on two hours before you get up so when you do get up, it's lovely and warm. Now, you'd think me, the electric narrowboat guy, would be against things like diesel heaters, but I'm not. They use a very little diesel. They are very efficient and they're a very clean way of heating your boat. So that's something that you should consider, certainly over and above coal. LKQ Aquafats are coming to the show. Now, LKQ, like kind quality, is a US company and they were more known in the car business. But lately they've been expanding and doing all sorts of other things. They own Aquifax, Midland Chandlers and ASAP too. So they're really invested into the boating world. We hope that larger buying power will help bring down prices too. They are bringing the Master Vault demonstration van. There's a thing. And did you know that Master Vault invented the sine wave inverter when the guys responsible were working for Vitron 
and then they broke off at that point. There's a chap called um, Roll to Heed, or Heidi, um, and then he started that, and then he goes on to start Whisper Power too. So you can see this is a very interconnected world that we're living in. Energy Solutions. These guys are big Victron distributors. You'll like them because if ever your Victron gear breaks down, they'll fix it under the warranty. Victron have a very good five-year warranty and I've never experienced any fuss. Things always go wrong, but it's how people deal with them that's the real difference here. Now, they have a very good web presence. You can buy all sorts of things online. You might find cheaper elsewhere, but the cheapest solution isn't always the cheapest solution, if you know what I mean, because these guys have got all of the technical backup if you ever have an issue with the product or need help setting up. Onboard Energy. Interestingly, they're part of the ABC group. Now, they do Victron, they do BEP, they do roof boxes, and they do solar. And they have a very good web presence. It's all there on that very good website. But the nice thing about this is they've got installation services around the country. So if you're looking for something, you might be able to get those guys to fit it for you. So that's another one on your list. Pro Electrical. We've never met these guys, but we're doing a boat together with a steam engine in it. XR&D did the shell. We're doing the motor and Norton Keynes are doing the fit out. So Pro Electrical are doing the solar, the electrical cupboard and the batteries and they're good at it. And I believe everything comes in a big green van and they'll come to you. So that's worth having a look at too. Fisher Panda, everything in large portions here. The company was started by Barry, Barry Fower, and it's now run by his son, Chris. So family business. They do a whole bunch of everything from generators to motors to fuel cells to air conditioning to water um, purifiers and more. And um, I know they're smart people because they haven't got involved in boat building. So good luck to them. Hydrogen afloat. I would like to have a crystal ball, one that works, because hydrogen is an excellent source of power. It's clean. It's absolutely everywhere. This system uses two Genie bottles which carry a kilo of hydrogen in them. Downside is, is that the cylinders that can contain them weigh about 23 kilograms. Upside is that each one of those kilograms produces 6.5 kilowatt hours of power, rain or shine, day or night, when you want it. I want this to succeed because it's going to be a valuable part of the energy mix. My crystal ball tells me so. Here's my summary. If you are interested in electric narrowboats or just where narrowboats are going to go in the future, you need to come to Electrica. It's a very, very condensed source of information. It's on a small ground. It's easy to get to, very central in the country. There's two days it will be open. There'll be plenty to eat, a little bit of entertainment and some master classes as well. I really do recommend you coming over and saying hello to all of these people. It's a big size, but it's not too big. You'll easily get round in a day. Thank you for watching.